Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. I'm at the AES convention in New York. And with me now is Christian from Dear Reality. Hello, Christian. Hi, Sam. <laughs> so, Dear Reality is a new company, to me at least, and you're showing a very interesting new product. Can you explain a little bit about the problem that this product is designed to solve? Yeah, so we're solving the problem that usually you have a lot of turnaround times if you're mixing for VR. So if you make a mix in your audio workstation, then you have to put on the headset with head tracking, and then you can hear the mix, and then you can judge, oh, this was too loud, this has too low, the distance isn't right, and then you have to put off the headset again, change that, and put the headset on again to listen if it works, and there's a lot of turnaround time that you're losing. So the problem fundamentally is that our audio mixing tools are two-dimensional and virtual reality is three-dimensional and it's very hard to marry those two up at the post-production stage. And can you explain a little bit about how you solved this problem? Totally. So we say that content creation has to take place within the medium. That means if you're mixing for VR, you have to be in VR. Or if you're mixing for AR, you have to be in AR. So in this case, the Dear VR Spatial Connect that we're showing here at AES uh, solves the problem that you put the headset on and you're completely within the experience that you want to mix. And you have all the sound sources on your digital audio workstation represented as a sphere within the simulation there. And then you can touch the sphere, move it around, change the direction, automate the positions, change the levels, change the acoustic details. So you can do everything you usually do in a mix within the medium. So not only do you have you, are you able to interact directly with the immersive content? You're actually mixing in an immersive, an immersive mixer. Yeah, totally. So you can listen to the mix in real time, binaural, or you can output in ambisonics in first order, second order, third order, and monitor that. So you already hear what you will get at the end in the medium. And so how does this product uh, interact with your workstation? So it communicates, it's a standalone app, it com communicates with Reaper and with our DVR Pro VST 3D audio plugin. So it controls the audio plugin and it controls the digital audio workstation at the same time. So conceptually, the plugin is a little bit like a sort of 3D panner type thing, but it, you have an overlay of a separate application that. Uh, links in with the VR, is that right? Yeah, so the Dear VR Pro plugin we released already last year on Plugin Alliance, uh, and it's like a typical 3D audio panel with reverb, different room presets for music production or post production, and it has like a loudspeaker output, a binaural output, and ambisonics output at the same time, and we are able to control that. All right, so this is the Spatial Connect. Um, as you can see, we've loaded the 360 video in this case on the mountains, the space demo. Uh, and what we are having here, each sound source, as you can see, is a representation of the track in the digital audio workstation. So what I can do is I point at the sound source and can move it around. So let me just start it, play, start the playback. So here we are with the sound source synthesizer. I can move around. to the right side or the left side, change the distance, any direction. Okay, so that's one important thing. The other important thing is I, if I decide, okay, the level isn't right, I can also change the level here. So let me kind of painting the level here. Um, and I'm also able to scroll through the timeline. So I have the full representation of the timeline of my audio workstation here, so I can jump to specific points within the mix here, which is pretty cool. So, um, one second. Yeah. So I can jump through markers. These are the same markers as we're having in Reaper right now. And another important thing is the meter bridge, which is kind of the old school metering that we all know. Uh, you could also, if you want to, change the level there uh, if you don't want to change the level here with our new interface. Okay, so that's the most important tools, but the unique tool is the minimap. So if we look at the minimap, we have a full representation of the spatial audio scene that you're seeing right there. So you just, with one look, you see where the whole spatial audio scene is going around. So let's see there, we have some automations. I've muted them right now. But you can see what's going on there, so let me just activate the other sources. And let's listen to the scene here. So 
So we already recorded the automations in the audio workstation. As you can see all the keyframes there. And you can see what's happening in the minimap or in the real world now. So now there's a spaceship coming. It was also pretty cool. I can even interact with the minimap. So let me check. This is the synthesizer. If I touch it, I can move it around. So we call it kind of the mixing console of the future because you're able to interact in 3D space with levels, with positions. You can also change like the room presets. In this case, we're in an outdoor alley. Let's change to a cathedral. Make a little, little bit more open in this case. And let's see what's going on in the later part of the simulation. So let's let me do a mix. So I could do the whole mix in the minimap if I want to. That's very important too. And we also have like a source list, I didn't talk about that yet, where we have like parameters, solo mute that you know from the normal world. So these are the most important features. We'll constantly optimize all that and we're going to release it very soon. And is the full Spatial Connect system available now or is that yet to be released? It's going to be released very soon. We just released the announcement video on the beginning of AES, but it will be released very soon. And do you know what sort of price we can expect to pay for it when it's available? Um, that's a good question. Um, we can't tell the final price yet because we are still evaluating some things on that and especially with bundling it was a DOVR Pro pl plugin which is necessary. Uh, so I can't tell the exact price right now but you will find it out soon. Fantastic. And it currently, is Reaper the only supported DAW? Yeah, Reaper for now is the only supported DAW, but we definitely want to go to Pro Tools, Nuendo, and other digital audio workstations. But we're starting with Reaper because Reaper is the spatial audio workstation, but other audio workstations are also good for spatial audio production. So we definitely want to support them too. Fantastic. Well, this is fascinating stuff, and we look forward to seeing more about it in the future. So thank you very much, Christian. Thank you very much, Sam.